Russia's offensive tonight is growing more indiscriminate and destructive, raining down on Ukrainian towns and cities. This is the aftermath of a missile attack on the police headquarters in Kharkiv, a besieged eastern city about the size of Philadelphia. The city is surrounded. The mayor says there's been massive destruction. The UN says nearly 230 Ukrainian civilians have been killed so far. The number could be much higher. Just outside the capital, Russia attacked a residential neighborhood. Rescuers scrambled to search for survivors. Yesterday, Russia attacked Kiev's television tower. It's right next to the city's historic Babinyar Holocaust Memorial. Russia claims its goal now is to overthrow Ukraine's government, calling it a new Nazi regime. Ukraine's Jewish president Zelensky accused Russia of distorting history and called on Jews around the world to come to the nation's defense. Zelensky tweeting, what is the point of saying never again if the world stays silent when a bomb drops on the same site of Babinyar? Tonight, a senior U.S. defense official says while Russia has increased missile and artillery attacks on the capital, a convoy heading toward the city is still stalled. But that Russian forces advancing from the south are making progress. The Kremlin insists tough sanctions imposed by President Biden and the West, isolating its banks and oligarchs, though allowing Russia to keep selling its oil and gas, will not deter Russia's so-called special military action. But every day, more brave Ukrainians, many without weapons, are standing up to Russian occupiers. This crowd confronting Russian troops in Berdyansk and south of Kiev, stopping a convoy of Russian vehicles. A Russian soldier showing restraint fires into the air. He seems not to know how to respond. Russian troops were told they'd be greeted as liberators, freeing Ukraine from a hated radical government. But that's not the response they're seeing now. Both Ukraine and Russia have agreed to a second attempt at peace talks. But here in Kiev, they're not optimistic about a ceasefire. The mayor telling residents to stock up and be ready. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.